determine the perimeter and area of the given triangle. Let's begin with the perimeter. The perimeter is a distance around the outside of the triangle. So if we think about walking around the triangle starting here, the perimeter is 6.2 centimeters plus 9.3 centimeters plus 8.7 centimeters. So again, the perimeter P is equal to 6.2 plus 9.3 plus 8.7. Because we have decimals, let's determine the sum vertically, lining up the corresponding place values. We have 6.2 plus 9.3 plus 8.7. We bring the decimal point down into the sum. And now beginning with the rightmost place value, two plus three plus seven is 12. We record the two, perform an exchange with the one, and now adding the one's place value, one plus six is seven, plus nine is 16, plus eight is 24. We now know the perimeter is equal to 24.2 centimeters. Remember the perimeter is a length or distance, and because the sides are in centimeters, the perimeter is also in centimeters. So let's go ahead and record the perimeter and now work on determining the area. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height, where for our triangle, the base is 8.7 centimeters and the height is 5.4 centimeters. And therefore, the area of the triangle is equal to one half times, again, the base, which is 8.7 centimeters, times the height, which is 5.4 centimeters. This product will give us a number of square centimeters that will fit inside the triangle. To determine the product, let's first determine one half times 8.7, where if it's helpful, we can write one half as a decimal, one half is equal to 5 tenths or 0 0.5. So the area is also equal to 0 0.5 times 8.7 times 5.4. So multiplying from left to right, Let's determine the product of 0 0.5 and 8.7, but to do this by hand, let's change the order and determine 8.7 times 0 0.5. Notice how each factor contains one decimal place, and therefore the product will contain two decimal places. So multiplying five times seven is 35, record the five, perform an exchange with the three, and we have five times eight, which is 40, plus three is 43. But again, we know the product must contain two decimal places, which gives us a product of 4.35. So now we know the area is equal to 4.35 times 5.4. So now let's determine this product. Notice now the first factor contains two decimal places, and the second factor contains one decimal place, and therefore the product will contain three decimal places. We begin by multiplying by four, five times four is 20, record the zero, perform an exchange with the two, four times three is 12, plus two is 14, record the four, perform an exchange with the one, four times four is 16, plus one is 17. And now we multiply by five, but before multiplying by five, we place a zero in the rightmost place value here. Five times five is 25, record the five, perform an exchange, Five times three is 15, plus two is 17, record the seven, perform an exchange, and finally five times four is 20, plus one is 21. And now we add. Here we have seven plus seven, which is 14, record the four, perform an exchange, we have one plus one plus one, which is three, and then we have a two. Again, the product must contain three decimal places, and therefore the product is 23.490, but we can leave off the zero in the thousandths place value, which means the area is 23.49 square centimeters. Before we go though, let's check this product on the calculator. We have one divided by two times 8.7 times 5.4. which does verify we do have the correct area. And again, remember the area is a number of square centimeters that fits inside the triangle, which is why the units are centimeters squared or square centimeters.
I hope you found this helpful.